This is my hair naturally. It is right now still damp, not dry, which is the perfect time to um, give myself a blowout. So I suffer from tendonitis. No way I could do this on my own. So I got this uh, Revlon blow dryer, blow drying brush. Fucking amazing, I love it. Last time I was able to dry my hair in 10 minutes, like give myself a full blowout in 10 minutes. So we're gonna try and see if it's still possible. And yeah, got this on Amazon. It usually comes in black and hot pink, but I just chose this light blue because I thought it was cute. Um, so to start, my hair is, like I said, kind of damp. If you could see it, it's more dry on the ends, but it's still damp at the roots. If I start drying it when it's too dry, it's just a lot of heat damage to your hair. So my mom gave me this Joico um, heat set, perfect blowout cream. I just put a little dime size um, amount, rubbed it on my hands and put it on the tips of my hair because that's where a lot of the heat goes. So this is what I'm gonna do. We're gonna get started. I'm going to section off my hair. So around my eyes, I'm just gonna go back. And with one of these clips, I'm just gonna clip it, clip the top. So I'm gonna put it on low and get started. I'm gonna start off with the side of my hair and I am just gonna start blow drying it outwards. So it's gonna look like I'm flipping my hair out and I find that there's no right or wrong way. I just prefer it out. So I'm gonna do that in the front. I'm gonna do it in the back, whichever way is more comfortable with my hands. Whether it's in or out, it does not matter. I'm mostly concerned about is just making sure that the roots the hair closest to my scalp is dry and the result is this nice little flip and my hair is dry so I'm going to continue blow drying all the bottom section of my hair and here's just a close-up of the back it's just more comfortable for me to instead of combing it down comb it to the side either way this lovely round brush gets a lot of airflow so it's making sure that my hair is getting styled brushed and dried all at the same time so I'm going to continue on I have been blow drying my hair for two minutes, 40 seconds, and it's dry. Minimal amount of frizz. There is shape to the bottom. So I'm gonna do the top. And for the top now, I get it and I split it into two. So divide it in half. And I love volume. I have a lot of hair, but I just love big hair, so. Um, there's a difference between big hair, full of volume, um, and frizzy hair. So don't like the frizz, I love the volume. So I'm gonna start with the end. This half, I'm gonna divide it in half again. Like I said, I love volume and I found that blow drying it out. So I'm gonna start off by combing it down and then up like this is gonna give me a lot of volume because I'm lifting the root, okay? So when the hair falls, it's gonna fall with a lot of volume back like this. So I'm gonna turn it on and get to, uh, and get to blow drying. Just gonna speed this part up because it's a lot of repetition, but I just do this until my hair feels dry and making sure that I concentrate some of that heat and the brush at the root so that I have no moisture and my hair does not have frizz. And in doing this, I am also kind of curling, um, giving it a slight little bend at my hair. And once that section is done, I go ahead and repeat the same process again away from my face at the front last remaining section for that side. This whole section and the back and half of this other side is done. I'm at the nine minute mark, so it looks like we're gonna make it. Not including my intro, it's gonna be 10 minutes, that's all it took, and I'm gonna have beautiful hair that's dry and styled, so let's get going, same thing. And that's it friends on my camera phone right here with the little intro that i filmed it says 11 minutes 30 seconds crazy um and that's with at least a minute of me talking for my little intro not including like what i'm going to edit out and stuff but that's it check out my blowout it is full of volume little to no frizz um my hair is completely dry so i can run my fingers through it if this were um, another occasion where i'm fresh out of the shower no fucking way I could do that because my hair is just so thick and just thick and frizzy that my fingers would get stuck. But check it out.
It's all the blow, uh, the blow drying brush. It provides really nice shine, doesn't get too hot to the touch, and isn't super loud. Let's have the off cool um, low and high temperatures. I use it on low and I found that it gives me uh, a great temperature, not too hot, not too cold, and I don't feel I need to burst it with um, the cold because I just don't have that kind of time. So I hope that you guys like it. If you guys are looking to get like a blowout result and don't have the time, money, or just aren't able, especially right now with COVID, to go get a blowout and want to feel like your normal fucking self, um, go get you guys this nice blowout brush because it's totally worth it from Revlon. So I hope you like this video and you found my review really helpful um, because it's an amazing Good morning, friends. It's the next day. I just wanted to show you guys um, the blowout results. Hair is not oily, still full of volume, no frizz. Just gotta kind of like, I'm wearing the same dress because it's quarantine and who the fuck cares, but really happy with it. Good purchase for sure. All right, I'm gonna start my day. I'm gonna shower, wash my body, but my hair is still full of volume. It does not look greasy. 